Hey guys, I just made some of this. Uh, let's see, it's a banana flavored milk bread. It's still a little bit warm, but I wanted to show you guys as I cut into it, how it looks. So let me see, I'm just gonna, I don't have a serrated bread knife, so I'm just gonna use the steak knife and see how it looks on the inside. So, really nice and soft um, milk bread. So, there it is. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made this, keep watching. Hey you guys, um, I'm setting up to make some milk bread. Uh, I've actually been saving this super ripe banana to give it a little bit of a banana flavor. Um, so anyways, um, I'm only gonna use half of that. I've laid out everything that I'm gonna be needing. I've got two cups of bread flour. I have an ounce of heavy cream, about an ounce and a quarter of regular milk. I've got an egg, room temperature, two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I've got two tablespoons of powdered sugar a teaspoon of instant dry yeast, and I'm gonna need one teaspoon of salt. And then I also brought out this dry milk that I am gonna sprinkle between the layers of the roll, but I'll show you that when the time comes. So let me get set up and then I will show you how I make the dough. Okay, you guys, I am gonna start mixing the dough. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is mix in the liquids. So that's the heavy cream um, and the milk. And let's see the egg. Okay. And then, okay, and then I'm just gonna grab, let's see if I can adjust half of this banana and I'm just gonna mash it up with a fork and then add that to the dough. So this is why you want it super ripe so that you can mash it okay, really easily. I'm just going to add it here. Okay, let me turn this back. And then I'm going to add in the bread flour. The sugar and then for the powdered sugar I just grab regular sugar and I threw it in like a stand blender thing I have um, so you can make your own at home instead of having to run out and buy some okay so now I'm just gonna mix it I'm adding, I forgot to add the yeast. If you don't have um, instant yeast, just bloom it in the milk first for about 10 or 15 minutes to activate it. And then add in the rest of the ingredients and then you can mix. So it's kind of ready now. Um, let me get set up. I'm gonna bring up my mat. 
um, and then turn the camera back on. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it out. I set up my mat next to it. I'm gonna take the ball out, put it on the mat. And then I'm gonna knead it for maybe half a minute. Okay, just form it into a ball and then I'm gonna leave it in this bowl. I'm gonna cover it and then let it rest for about an hour and then it should double in size. I'll be back once it's doubled. Hey guys, I'm back. So, it's been a little over an hour. I'm gonna need to cover and rest again, so I wanna save that. But I wanted to take this out and show you. It's kind of doubled in size. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of give it a quick knead. It's so soft and airy right now. And I'm kind of just squeezing out all the air that has formed. And you can actually see a lot of the, like these little black dots. Like those are from the banana. So there should be a really nice banana flavor here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now, this is just a really quick one or two minute kneading. And then I'm gonna split this into four somewhat even pieces, roll it up into a ball, and then let it rest again for about 15 minutes. So, and I'm gonna leave it right here on the mat covered with the saran wrap. just going to get it into a nice round shape and then I'm just going to kind of squeeze all the pieces or all the kind of outer layer together and then squeeze it on the bottom here to kind of give the outside like a smoother look. It doesn't have to be perfect and then just roll it out a little bit. Once you have it all done, just cover it again and then let it rest for another 15 minutes. Okay guys, I think the dough is rested and I brought a few things out for this, this part. Um, so these are mini uh, loaf pans that I have and I use this to make um, smaller loaves of bread. Um, a pen for rolling things out and I just poured some of this dry milk into this tiny bowl so I can um, sprinkle it onto the bread. So let me just get started here. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of knead this out a little bit. And this bread is really elastic, so it's kind of... dough is kind of elastic so that's why it's um, kind of shrinking back a little bit so I'll try to work pretty fast so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this dry milk on here and then I'm gonna roll this dough up like this and then I'm gonna pinch the end so that it's sealed and then kind of give it a nice shape Then I'm gonna leave it in, should I put it? Yeah, I'll put it in here. And then I'm gonna do the same with all of these.
that's all ready. I am just going to leave it in the pans and then cover it back up. And then I'm going to let it rest for probably a little over an hour. It's going to really um, kind of rise again to um, probably half or double the size. Um, it'll probably take an hour and a half. It's not that hot right now. So I'll turn the camera back on when it's ready. Hey guys, I am back. So it's been quite a while, uh, maybe two hours, probably more. Um, I've been out running errands and then I was playing with the baby outside. So I didn't have time to finish even though all that there really is left to do is putting it in the oven. So I'm preheating the oven now at 350 and then I'm gonna bake for about 30 minutes. But my oven's kind of weird so maybe a couple minutes before the time is up I'm gonna check to see how it looks because I don't want it to over bake. Um, and then that's it. I'll turn the camera back on when it's ready. Um, I did want to add that I checked on the dough right around the 45 minute mark and it was pretty close to being ready. So this whole process or this part of the process should probably only be about an hour. Um, you know, if you were really watching the time and trying to finish. So anyways, I will turn the camera back on when the bread is done. Be right back. You guys, I just took this out of the oven. It's still piping hot. Um, yeah, really hot, but it smells so good. Um, I'm gonna give it some time to cool down and then I will cut into it so we can see what the inside looks like. Um, one thing I do wanna mention, I did luckily at 22 minutes, I checked and it was nice and brown, so I took it out. So I don't know if it's just me, but my oven is really weird. Sometimes I could bake stuff for 30 minutes and it won't be done. Sometimes like today, 22 minutes and it is completely done. So just keep your eye on it, make sure it doesn't over bake. Okay, I will be back when this thing cools down. Okay, you guys, it's nice and soft and I just cut one piece right there for my intro clip, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside. And it's so soft, you can tell just by this cut, how soft it is and it's still warm. So it tastes, I'm sure, really good. I'm just gonna give it a bite. Mmm, it's so good. A tiny hint of banana. You can definitely taste the milk powder. Mmm, you guys gotta try this. Okay, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more um, videos. Bye.